Big weather story out on our west coast. California dealing with the aftermath of heavy rain from an atmospheric river known as the Pineapple Express. And while the rare storm system is winding down for now, even more rain is on the way. Various public safety agencies are on high alert with additional resources mobilized for the storm. High winds have also caused problems. I think that everybody is definitely a little on edge with the storms. And we know there's a voluntary evacuation a warning, so we're just ready. Millions of residents now have about 48 hours to get ready for that next round, which is expected to bring significant rainfall to Southern California through next Wednesday. Queen City News meteorologist Andrew Brightman is here to explain yeah. how the storm is going to work. Yeah, Andrew, first question here. Where does the term Pineapple Express come from? Well, it's a very famous movie, but also it's a uh, very well known moisture buildup that we see in the central Pacific Ocean near Hawaii, which for actually a period of time supplied 80% of the world's canned pineapple, hence how we get the Pineapple Express. So we have the buildup of moisture near Hawaii. We call an atmospheric river. It's again a corridor of moisture, very channeled and concentrated, and eventually makes its way into the West Coast. It tends to be more active during El Nino winters, which is what we are in right now. So let's take you out to the West Coast right now. They already got more snow moving in. It has been another great winter near Lake Tahoe. They saw some atmospheric rivers last winter Winter, which was a little out of the ordinary because it was a La Nina. But as we zoom out here, we turn our attention back out into the Pacific Ocean. There's another strong storm system making its way again. You can see that channel of moisture starting near Hawaii. Again, this is why it's called the Pineapple Express and then basically directed almost centrally at the West Coast in Central California. Kind of let's talk about what is causing this. So we'll actually shift a little bit farther off to the west here, the far east. This is the jet stream coming off of Asia. Usually starts very concentrated, very, very strong winds. Now what we see during an El Nino, the jet stream actually splits. You've got the northern branch of the jet stream. That helps us bring us all the cold fronts and cold air from Canada. But also what we see during uh, El Nino's is that jet stream starting to split. And we have a much more active subtropical jet stream. I don't know if we have to go all the way around the world for that, but you can see again a very strong subtropical jet starting near Hawaii and getting directed right into the West Coast. So what does this all mean for the weekend? They've already seen a ton of rain as Annie and Brian were just talking about a whole lot more on the way over three inches of rain on the way this weekend as we look to the West Coast and then up in the mountains another three plus feet of snow is on the way again. They're going to be dealing with more flooding, but it just comes to a very active subtropical jet stream. All that moisture building up near Hawaii and that funneled atmospheric river directly into California. So it's always very interesting to watch as a snower, snow lover myself and skier. Man, it'd be really great to go to Lake Tahoe. This <laughs> yeah, Lake Tahoe uh, sitting pretty there. <laughs>